This is incredible. Um, I think towels may be iced. 15 plus whiteies right now, and it's like not even been a couple hours out here. We're just popping around, basically whack these fish. When it dies down, we just move over to the next like hump over, and uh, we're just smacking these fish right now. Uh, he's using the Meigs, and I got my football head with a custom goby. Both of us are doing well with it. Stay tuned, guys. Um, <laughs> I don't even know what to say. Today's an awesome day. Me too. If I don't hook this one fish, I'm gonna retire. I'm done. F yeah, I'm pissed. Holy f This guy, this guy's hooking up every f***ing fish he sees. Oh yeah. Buddy, what the f*** are you doing? Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I'm on, baby! Here we go! Here we go! <laughs> We're right beside each other. But, clearly the fish wanted the vibrato. This is unreal. Just absolutely crushing these fish on the vibrato. Yeah, good, good fish. Nice, Whitey. Whoa, he's coming to you. Oh. He is coming to you. Just turn your head. Oh, good Whitey, man. Good Whitey. See ya. There we go. I'm on. Nice. Just tap, tap, tap. Ding. Yeah. <laughs> Ding. Tap, tap, pause. Boing. 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 Oof. Right in the side of the face. Oh, no, it's gone right in the lip. There we go. Oh, what a horrible catch. There you go. Oh, easy. Ooh, vibrato. Easy. <laughs> this fish came in hot. Just tap, tap on the bottom. Absolutely crushed that vibrato. Beauty. Let's get a release on this one. See you later, bud. Woo. Woo. I'm marking a fish, guys. Fish on. I'm on, Joe. Just came back to the hunt. There we the go, I'm on two, buddy! Double up! Oh, we're double, double headed! <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Nice go! Let's go, dude! <laughs> go, both our huts are side by side right now. And we're both crushing these whiteies. Oh, the vibrato, I got the vibrato, he's got the Meigs. And we're just putting on a clinic out here. Wow, big whitey, man. People dream of days like this, I swear. We're like, probably well over 30 fish between us at least, by now. And it's only one o'clock. Oh, mine's a giant too. You too? Man, this thing's an absolute hog. My mom got my fish on the ice. Oh, look at that, guys. Junkie. Oh! Oh no! Oh no! I lost them! No! Damn! Oh, you lost it? Lost him, eh? Oh, he just lost his fish. So I'll put this fish back down the hole. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm so slimy. <laughs> there we go, right in the slack line, baby. What a feel on this rod. <laughs> this rod feels unreal. Wow. That was unreal. That slack just like picked up my Oh, I'm off. No. There we go. There's one. Oh, I'm on. That doesn't feel like a whitey though. I'm on. There we go. Big head shakes. That thing crushed it. No, that's a whitey. 
just crushed it. Look at this rod bend. Just so nice. There we go. Look at that. Handmade custom Kobe's. Absolutely crushing these whiteies. On a 36 inch brand new custom ice rod, medium. Look at this tip. That is amazing. And I'm feeling those hits like you wouldn't believe it. The minute they grab it, it's done. It's a done deal. Look at this. Whitefish. Awesome. That is so sick. Oh my gosh. All right, we'll keep this one for dinner. We got our limits. And then now we're gonna push out, try for some lake trout. There he goes, fish on. So I stole Joey's GoPro, because I'm on fish. And I literally just got back to the hut like a minute ago. And there he goes, hooked up. Oh, he's thrashing. Gotta love fishing on a weekday. Look at that, guys. Thank you. Well, that's it. We're still gonna go. We have an hour left in our day. Um, it's just me and my buddy Tao, and we're just running around Main Lake right now. We got about eight inches of ice around us. Um, some sketchy pressure cracks coming out, so be safe, uh, as always. But some good ice out here. I'm actually really surprised really is out here solid ice awesome we're uh, catching a bunch of whitefish they're absolutely flared up I'm using vibrato he's got the meegs on and he's crushing them I think he's like probably 25 plus fish today I just gave him the GoPro because he's been crushing it so I'm gonna see if he gets them on film but we're gonna roll up to the next spot it seems like a recurring thing that these fish are just schooled up and they're on the next hump next hump next hump next hump next hump and uh, they keep moving so we're gonna keep following these fish and see what we can get on them so stay tuned Oh, these things, every fish that comes in, we're whacking them. I got the vibrato, he's got the meegs. And basically all we're doing is like keeping our baits about three feet off bottom. We see that mark starting to creep in. We drop our baits down and we slowly just start to tickle that bottom. Just like tickle, 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 tickle. Like I'm talking very incremental like lifts. Like just tap, tap, tap. And all of a sudden you'll feel them just boom and your line will go slack. And it's a very subtle hit when I say that boom, but it's a subtle hit that you can definitely feel. It's a discrepancy in your line when you're jigging. And when you feel that discrepancy, you just set the hook, no matter what. I'm losing a lot of fish because I have the vibrato. The vibratos lose a lot of fish naturally, but he's crushing them. He's, he, every fish he gets, he's absolutely slapping them. And yeah, it's just an insane day. Unbelievable. So stay tuned, guys. Fish on. Yep. Oh, that was sweet. Tal has got another one on. Crushing him. Today is just a white fish smash fest. Coming up with the hole. Oh, it's a good fish too. Woo hoo! Oh my god! Get him up here. Get him up. Oh. There you go. I think that's one of the biggest ones of the day. This is some explaining of the gear. So I've been getting a lot of questions. A lot of people have been messaging me and they've been asking like, you know, I can't feel the bites. What rod? What line are you using? You know, I'm using the drifter. I'm using the Meigs. I'm using the vibrato, and I can't get hit. I'm just trying to explain the rod I'm using. The one I got the vibrato on, I got eight pound fluorocarbon. I am running ten pound Power Pro braid, and this is a 32 inch medium Saint Croix Mojo ice rod. Fast tip, absolute must is a fast tip. Um, when you're jigging that bottom, when you're constantly just working that bottom, you hit that bottom. You just kind of like tap, 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 tap. You want to be able to feel that bottom structure good. You know, that hard bottom is absolutely key for these white fish. So as I'm tapping, tap, 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 you'll feel the, the pickup. If your rod is too soft, you won't feel that. And if your rod is too stiff, you won't feel that either. So the medium I find is absolutely perfect. And then my other white fish rod is a custom ice fishing rod. It is a 36 medium fast. And if you look at that tip, 
I can feel everything. Like these little plastics or the smaller Meigs or even, even the Meigs in general, you just feel them absolutely pick that line up and your rod tip from being bent, it just goes slack and you just set hook right into that slack line and it's just a blast to catch these fish. So, I mean, whitefish is one fish that's easy to catch, but it's also very difficult to catch. And if you don't have the right tackle and you don't have the right gear, it can be very frustrating. And believe me, I've been there, so don't worry. If you wish to get off a whitefish, get yourself a good setup, you know, ice custom rods, shoot them a message. They got wicked rods. If you're having trouble with whitefish and you need that extra sensitivity, I mean, it's really hard to beat. So give them a shout and they'll definitely make something up for you. If not, the St. Croix Mojo Ice does a job. And as, as you can see in the video, this is pretty much what I used half of the day. That was the other half of the day. They just switched on the bite and they absolutely crush these baits. So vibrato, meigs, and any goby imitation bait, I was doing the trick today guys i don't even know how much battery life i got left it's like about to die it was an awesome day thanks for tuning in guys make sure you like comment share and subscribe we'll catch you on the next one